Hey, all. I'm in Maryland now. Here are the pets, I promised. I shot the video you're about to see in February when I was still taking the bus in L.A. every day. In light of a conversation I had with my friend the other day, it seemed appropriate. So, here's that. Monday. So there's this dude on my morning commute most days, taking the same bus as me, carries around a lot of baggage, big cart stacked high with big heavy looking boxes. He always stands at the rear exit and blocks the door while the bus is in motion, but he usually moves when people need to get off. Oh, and he also has a very foul mouth, berating and insulting people, usually women, at the slightest provocation or sometimes even for no reason at all. Like, uh, one time he didn't secure his stuff well enough or something and the bus had to come to a sudden stop because a car was in front of it and he proceeded to call the driver a bitch very loudly from across the bus and blame her for his wheel getting hey! up. So, that kind of dude. The other day he was blocking the way off the bus and I needed to get off, so I just kind of said, excuse me, very politely, as one does. This is my first direct interaction with this guy. He immediately spins around and with all the derision of someone speaking to a literal piece of shit stuck to the bottom of their shoe says to me, wait for everyone else to pass. Take the other exit if you're in such a hurry, bitch. Now besides the fact that you're not supposed to take the front exit because that's where people get on the bus and it's rude, I was just so surprised at what he said to me despite knowing that he has a tendency to insult people. I just kind of stared at him, mouth open, unable to respond until finally he moved out of my way and I just quietly put my head down and went out the door. That should not have shaken me like it did. Or should it have? The next time I saw him on my bus, I actually felt a little twinge of fear and I hated myself for being scared of this guy. What am I afraid of? All he does is insult people, which is not very nice, but he's never shown any overt propensity for physical violence, at least not that I've seen. But like, as a woman, I was sort of trained to react this way to people like that. Cause you just never know. I'm sure he thinks somewhere in his twisted mind that this is perfectly harmless, normal behavior for a person, given that he does it on the daily. But like, you just, Never know. Those harmless insults might evolve into physical violence one day. If something sets him off just the wrong way, bam, done, popped in the face. This kind of thing comes in many different forms and not always overtly offensive too. Catcalling is a pretty obvious one. And then there was that one time when this stranger tried to strike up a conversation with me while we were walking in opposite directions down the sidewalk and then decided to kiss me. No joke. And then when I told him off and said that that made me uncomfortable and that he shouldn't do that again, he tried to do it again. The things men, yes men, it's almost always men, think they can get away with or think is acceptable behavior for them is absurd. Or there was a man who worked in the restaurant with the glass walls on the street I had to walk down to get to my bus every day after work last year. He figured out my work schedule and happened to work the same time as me and would stare at me as I walked down the street every single day. Not even trying to hide it, just pressed up against the glass giving me a creepy stare. And you know what, yeah, I am equating appreciating someone from afar or like making very forward advances and trying to be flattering in their own bizarre, disgusting way to somebody insulting and berating somebody else. Because if it makes the person uncomfortable, it's harassment, no matter the intention. This guy who treats complete strangers like the dirt beneath his feet, he's a big guy, really tall, got a lot of big, heavy things he could potentially use as weapons. He keeps a little tool pack on his belt. God knows what's in there. The best defense I have on that crowded bus is to keep away from him and make myself as small as possible so that he doesn't find a reason to harass me again. And I still have to take this bus every day. A car is not magic appearing in my driveway. I have no choice, so I still have to be trapped every day in this small space with this man, and there's nothing I can do about it. And it sucks! And I could shout back at him, insult him, just like he insults me, but why? Why engage? And that's how we always respond to men who think they own the place. To make ourselves small and hope the problem goes away. But like, it doesn't. It's always there. Because should I continue this path, and he decides to snap one day and attack me, you know what they're gonna say about me? They're gonna say, why didn't you defend yourself? Why didn't you fight back? Can't win. Sucks. I don't have a message here, it just, it sucks. Sorry, no satisfying ending here. This is just a problem. Don't be a jerk to people. Don't come on to them when they're not comfortable with it either. Just generally, stop being a dick. Everybody, men and women, and everything in between. Peace, love, and geekdom, and take that to heart, man. Come on.
Okay, bye. See you next week. Click on my face to see more of my face. Click over there for my last video and click down there for social media and Redbubble and such things. Alright. I'm annoyed. Bye.